Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day. Modern Warfare is live with its open uh, or crossplay beta where PC players are uh, now able to get their hands on the game for the first time playing alongside console players. So I thought what better to go over some settings that will help some PC players out in order to run the game smooth or uh, just customize it to your liking based on your computer specs. So let's get into it. The, for each tab we have here, um, there may be a ton of settings to actually go through in detail, so I'll just be going through pretty quickly, but um, if there's anything that you want to know more details about um, a specific setting, then just drop a comment down below and I can make a video about that. To get started, we'll go underneath the keyboard and mouse setting, and underneath mouse we have uh, obviously mouse sensitivity, and there's an advanced option which you can do vertical, ground vehicles, air vehicles, and then a tablet sensitivity for kill streaks and whatnot, so um, very customizable there. So aim down sight, we have legacy and we have relative um, with advanced options as well. So we have different types of scopes, transition timing, and monitor distance coefficient. So um, different settings that you'll be able to play around with. I, this was on uh, relative, so I will keep it on there. But as you can see, when aiming down the sights, your rotation speed is reduced um, based on the new FOV. Um, and like legacy, your rotation speed is adjusted to travel a specific monitor distance. So I'm going to keep it on, uh, on relative. Uh, inverted mouse look, which I don't need. You could do mouse acceleration and filtering um, and different types of uh, controls. So legacy or aim again for this. Um, your mouse controls your aim on the horizontal axis only, or if you have it on aim, your mouse controls all axes. So I'm going to keep it on aim um, and we'll see where we go from there. So movement, we have uh, slide behavior, uh, either tap or hold. So we'll just keep it on tap for now. Um, and then we have all these toggleable. Uh, behavior so crouch prone uh, the mantle and sprint tactical sprint and we have now have our key binds here but this will just be uh, based on your personal preference so I'm gonna keep mine as is and just uh, and customize them throughout the beta this weekend and we'll go from there so we have now underneath weapon depleted ammo switch uh, which is you must manually switch weapon when the ammo is depleted or if you have it enabled that was disabled if you have it enabled weapon automatically switches when you're trying to fire while ammo is depleted so i'm going to keep it enabled you have a switch weapon minimum delay you have a weapon switch wrap around when cycling through your weapons it wraps around from the last to the first vice versa so i'll keep that as it is we have all these different uh, weapon mount options here and exit delay aim down sight is either hold or uh, toggle and then we have equipment behavior which again um, be ready to, uh, to cook a lethal or tactical like a grenade there so then we have now our uh, our key lines for the weapon so firing reloading next weapon weapon mounts uh, melee tactical equipment things of that nature so again it's going to be customizable to what you are used to. Next is going to be kill streaks and vehicles. I'm going to go just really quickly through this again. It's all customizable to what you want, but it just shows each vehicle keybind here and then the kill streak keybind to what you want it to change to. Then you have different interface and audio uh, options here so you can show your scores, what's your voice chat, uh, mute, and, and whatnot. Um, again, I'm going to keep it all the same and we'll move over to the general tab now. So. My input device, I'm going to obviously have it as keyboard and mouse, I don't have a controller plugged in, um, but I'm going to keep it as that. Uh, you do have a field of view now, um, RIP Fortnite, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that to about 90 and I'm going to change uh, that up and, and, and throughout the beta and throughout the weekend just to get the perfect FOV. So, and then you have an advanced option which uh, ADS, so aiming down sights zooms the field. So. So when you actually aim down sight, it's either affected or it's not, so um, I'm just going to keep it as independent. You have your brightness, different HUDs, uh, colorblind mode, you have text chat, so you have different blurs as well. So I'm actually going to uh, turn the blurs off as I personally don't like them. Uh, dismemberment, so if you are a young child and your parents don't want you seeing blood and gore, you are going to want to disable that, but I'm going to keep that. You want an FPS counter so you can brag to all your friends how much, uh, how many frames you're getting. I'm only getting 60. Rip. Um, server latency. Of course, you'd want that to understand if you're lagging or not. Uh, GPU, CPU times. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep uh, disabled. Mute and voice chat. You could turn it off if it just, you know, if you're not used to uh, those those lobbies where everybody is talking smack. 
Now we're going to get into graphics, which is uh, probably going to be the most useful for people on PC here. Um, you obviously have your different modes, windowed full screen, borderless full screen, and extended window if you have, uh, I believe it's multiple monitors, but um, I'm just going to keep full screen, and then you can do your different monitors. I just, uh, this is my gaming monitor, so I'm going to keep it there. As you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, 6 gigabytes, so that's what it's going to be on. Refresh rate, uh, I'm going to have a 144. If you have a um, 240 hertz monitor, you can, it's going to, it should have an option for you there. Render resolution, and then advanced. Uh, so your render resolution is 84. Mine set as 84%, and then display resolution. Um, you could obviously set it to what you want, but 1920 by 1080 is what my monitor runs. So I'll keep it there. Aspect ratio, you could change it. I'm going to keep mine in automatic. Uh, V-Sync uh, does not limit your frame rate with your monitor's refresh rate, and it limits uh, if it's disabled. If it's enabled, it limits your frame rate. So. I'm going to keep mine disabled, and then if you have a custom frame rate limit, um, menu, oh, so menu is about is 60, and it might be able to go up, but I'm just going to keep 60 in the menu, and then gameplay, I'm going to, I'm going to max out, or keep it at 250, because I believe the game uh, personalized my settings as I load it up, so I'm going to keep it at how it is, so texture resolution right now is very low, uh, I'm going to put normal for that. Uh, particle quality I'm going to put low, bullet impacts I'm going to keep, um, and, and then obviously if you click each one of these settings you'll be able to tell uh, exactly, it's going to show you either you know what setting, if it's disabled or low that's what it's going to be, and then if it's high that's what it's going to be, so when you're going through these it's very easy to tell what's, what, you know, what item is doing uh, what to your graphics, so. Particle quality could be low. Bullet impacts. Uh, it's always cool to see that, so I'll keep that enabled. Um, tessellation. Uh, I'm just going to keep that near or disabled. Uh, I'm going to keep that disabled. Shadow map resolution. Um, I'm just going to put that in auto. Cache spots. Rendering for future frames. Okay. Sun shadows. And again, this is all... Um, I'm not very... Uh, very knowledgeable into you know certain what will run best since it's a brand new game so particle lighting I'm gonna keep on normal chromatic film grain anti-aliasing uh, so we're just gonna keep that as is and that's pretty much uh, and then you're gonna want to apply settings obviously so that's pretty much all the graphics that you see here unless it has an advanced option but doesn't look like many of them do or any of them do besides the frame rate and render resolution Really, the next couple options are your audio, which you can just play around with. If it's too hot or too, if it's too loud in game or in the uh, in game pregame lobby, then you could turn it down here. You could turn down the music that you hear in the background, or you could turn it up. Um, different dialogue volumes and effects volumes, juggernaut music, uh, hit marker sounds. You could go back to classic or none. So I'm going to keep it on MW for Modern Warfare. Then for all the controller players that are playing on PC, you have your options here. I'm not going to run through them since I'm playing on uh, keyboard and mouse. And then for account, you have your option for crossplay, um, and then your display name tags and whatnot. So that's really it. I know that was very quick and it was very high level, but if there's any settings that you need, uh, you need me to run through or you're curious about and you want to know more information, uh, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be happy to go over that in more in more detail. But um, I will also leave the specs to my computer down below in the comment section in case anyone either thinks they have a better computer or a worse computer or worse hardware. Um, they'll know kind of where to where to put their settings as is um, from here. So hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video about the settings. And remember, if this was helpful, please drop a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. And I'll see you guys online.